Hey guys, I'm Marta Geek. In this video, I wanted to share how easily it is right now to actually install any of these launcher, like for example, the Ubisoft launcher, the Epic launcher. It's very, very easy right now. I decided to reinstall these applications because after installing the SSD drive that I did like a month ago, it deleted all my Epic, my Ubisoft, all my launchers, it deleted it. But I found an easier way to actually do that. Like you see right here, boom, boom. I have the Ubisoft Connect launcher, which from here, I can actually go to my library and install any of these games that I have right here. That is really, really awesome. So in this video, I'm going to let me go ahead and quit here. It's going to close that. Right. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how easy it is now to actually install these things. So right now, what we're going to do is go to desktop, right? Desktop, switch to desktop. Okay, I'm going to be zooming in here on the video and also keep in mind I'm going to be using my keyboard. That way I don't use too much, I don't put my fingers on the screen too much and my mouse as well. But you can do this without a keyboard, without a mouse, just by using the touchpad and the, the on-screen keyboard. Okay, that's not going to launch because I think I have my Bluetooth installed. Okay, so here what we want to do is go to the website right i'm going to leave the link for this website in my descriptions you can click it right there i already have it saved right here okay this is actually called non-steam launchers on steam deck okay so this is going to take you to this website the link that i'm going to leave in the description what you're going to do right here we don't there's instructions on how it works and features you can see all the upside they've done uh, we're going to click right here where it says download click download once you hit download is it's going to download directly to your download folder once you see that that's finished see that's already finished we can close right we can close now we go ahead to here we're going to go to your downloads folder like you see right there it's actually right here in your downloads folder we got deck installer which i did a video before non steam launcher double click execute continue okay let's go and close this right here let's go and close this so here you have a whole bunch of options of launchers you can actually install i already did epic and i already did um uh, what is it U um ubisoft connect is somewhere there um uh, but in this video for the purpose of this video i'm going to go ahead and install battle net from here you can actually get diablo 4 and any every other game and gog launcher gog launcher we're going to hit okay you have the option to uninstall if you didn't install one of these and you want to uninstall just click right there then hit uninstall uh start fresh move to micro sd card but right now we're going to leave it like that boom boom hit okay just hit okay if you see this just hit okay some people are not seeing that for some reason i'm seeing that hit okay and it's going to download and install all those launchers that you choose the first time i did this i think i did like four launchers at the same time and it worked perfectly uh, and right now what it's going to be doing is actually going to install every launcher and it's also going to add it to your steam store keep in mind before we used to actually install the launchers with heroic or anything like that then we had to open steam and add a non-gaming application but now this does it all for you so that's all you got to do so let's go and wait for this to finish okay so like you see right there it actually finished now okay we have this option right here battle.net opened up right let's go and close this for a second right let's go and close that for now uh, let's go open steam i don't know if you guys noticed but during the installation steam actually opened up and that's because it's, it was actually adding those applications to your library so if you go to library now and you go over here to your application section or your game section you got battle.net right there battle.net is installed like see it has no no art but i'll show you guys how to change that uh, what we want to do here also is go to properties, um, compa compatibility, change this to Proton Experimental. That's all. That's all you got to do there. And do the same thing for the other one. Which one was it? GOG. 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 There you go. GOG. 
Click that. Go to properties, compatibility, experimental, and that's it. You're done. So now, one thing that I recommend doing here before going to back to gaming mode is log into your accounts. Log into your accounts here. That way, you don't have to do it later on. So we go ahead here. Did it open up? Because it says stop. Okay, it says stop right there. It's going to open it up. So when you hit open up, it's going to open the launcher. So that way you can actually log in. Let's go and wait for this to open up. There you go. So here, what we're going to do is enter your account. Okay, so here we are now logged in to your account. There you go. So we have the launcher right there. Like you see, really cool. You got the games over here. One thing that I really recommend to do when you're here is to actually go to settings. Okay, it's over here. You want to go to settings, right? And settings, you want to prevent this application from starting every time you use and um, load up your Steam Deck. So it says launch Battle.net when I start my computer. Just uncheck that. Remember login. Okay, that's good. Keep me logged in. Yes, that's good. So make sure you actually do that. That way you're, it's not actually, you know what? And take this as well. Launch the minimize, minimize to tray, launch, um, take that off as well and take that and hit done and you're done. I recommend to actually do that to every launcher that you install. Make sure you prevent it from loading when the computer starts or the Steam Deck launch and make sure you, you turn off lower down to tray when you close it. So now we're done with that and we're going to do, I say it says minimize. Nope. I want to exit. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and do the same thing for GOG. We finished that. We're going to do the same thing for GOG. Let's open GOG. Okay. And here we are with GOG already loaded up as well. Like you see that very similar to the ones that you application that you have in your computer. And here, not interested. And here we're going to do the same thing as we did before. We're going to go ahead and you see, you can see your games owned right here, library. That's awesome. We're going to do the same thing that we did before. Go to settings, right? Settings. And we're going to prevent this from loading every time we open, turn on the computer, right? It says, I'm going to turn this off. It says launch at auto start. Okay. Take that out. Keep me auto logged in. That's okay. And that's it. We're going to go ahead and get out of here. Uh, you can also turn off notifications if you want. I recommend to turn off everything as well. Interface, high test bar, minimize the tray bay. Over here it says when closing the window, exit. So we're going to go ahead and exit. And that's it. So we have that done. We can close everything here. Okay, so now we have everything done. Everything that you need to do is done. We're going to go ahead and go back. Nope, not that. Not that. We're going to go ahead back to gaming mode. And we'll be back when this is done. Okay, so here we are back to gaming mode. And like you see, if you install a whole bunch of launchers, they, are, they will all appear at first right here. Uh, like you see, Epic and Ubisoft looks good. This looks bad, right? So we want to change that, right? But you can still use these launchers without changing the art. Uh, you can click right there. When you open one of the launchers, right? It should open up very easily. We already did the login in desktop mode. That's awesome. That's going to make it a lot easier to log in when you are in gaming mode. And that's what I recommend to do. Okay. And now let's see that it's launching. And now every game that you have on any of these launchers, you can install the games from the launcher itself, which is a huge advantage here. Um, some launchers, you'll be able to use the, uh, the sticks and the buttons. If not, you could just go ahead and click right here, click on the screen, and you can see the games right there. You got Savage Planet you want to install. All you got to do is hit the install button, and that's it. It's going to install the application. That's all you got to do to close them. Safely, you could go click right there, click right there, click confirm, boom, it's going to close the application properly. Okay, so now that we're done, we want to make this look nice, right? So I'm going to go ahead and choose here, 
and make sure you actually download it decky loader which i already made a video and i'm uploaded before this one and you can see this option right here artwork right in artwork we're going to choose the art that we want to choose here so we're going to choose let's go and choose uh let's go and choose this one right let's go and choose that one let's go for the wide one let's go and choose uh, this one hero let's go and choose this one you can choose whatever you want you could choose remember i'm choosing the ones that i like but you can choose whatever the one you want and i'm going to choose that one looks pretty cool and we're going to go to icon oh this one looks cool and click right there now it's going to say restart steam right i'm not going to do that now because i want to do the other one click back back and there you go you see that we have it done and we have our hero which looks pretty damn good and that is done so we're gonna go battle net do the same thing with battle net that way it can look very nice so you got a whole bunch of options here you can even choose blizzard battle net right here i think uh, i think this one looks cool wide okay i'm gonna choose this one we got hero uh-huh yeah let's gonna choose this one we got logo you know what? for logo i'm gonna choose this one right there oh i could have choose this one that one looks better that's okay but keep in mind you can change it whenever you want as well uh this i'm gonna choose that one and that's it so it says steam needs to restart to take this effect let's go and restart right now and that's it so we are done we have now have all our launchers here and like you see now they have their awesome art battle net look at that the hero looks pretty damn good and that's it so here we got epic we can launch epic that same process that i did with uh, gog and battle net is the same thing you're gonna do with epic launcher you're gonna go ahead and, and do all those things that i did and once you do that and you change the art style if you want if you don't want to change the art style it's up to you but i change the art style that way everything can look better and like see now i have the full proper epic launcher here i could go to my steam to my library and install a whole bunch of games here i have a whole bunch of games here that i have installed and this is where i actually installed the batman game that i did a video for yesterday so i actually got the game from here because i own all three here on epic so i almost bought the game but i have it right here so that's it guys that's how you can easily install any of these launchers on your steam deck a lot easier than before guys thanks for watching this video till next time bye bye